Man, corporate cartel media, we got King Yellow on the platform, man. What's that word? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? Man, you're chilling, man. Um, you know, just trying to get out with you, man, trying to uh get your point of view, your your hot takes on some of this that's been going on. Uh I wanted to start off with like, you know, the Julio Fulio situation, you know. Um, I had seen you mention before that you you didn't think that it was a back door. But this was prior to all the evidence coming out. You know, now they didn't came out with like five, I believe five people got arrested. You know, they dropping all of this footage, you know, these angles and shit. First of all, did you see all of the evidence that they dropping and all that, like the camera angles and all that? Man, listen, man. Them niggas, <laughs> them niggas cook, man. Them niggas, hey, them niggas bologna, turkey, you hear me? Bacon, them niggas. I saw everything, though. I don't think, did I say I don't? This yeah, this is the interview you did like a month ago on the no, I said, you know what I did say that because you know initially they showed it and made it was like that was the hotel that wasn't come to find out that wasn't even the hotel he did two shows that same night you know that right no I ain't know that you put me yeah. on that was a club that was actually a club that wasn't even a that wasn't even a, um thank you that wasn't it that wasn't even a um uh the hotel. Mm. So that when they shot him at that one at the hotel? No, that was a, a club. So a lot of footage, a lot of footage just came out and it shows uh uh he was dangling and it showed that the people was following him. They followed him to the club, they followed him from the Airbnb, they followed him to one club to another club, and they finally at the end they followed him to the to the hotel where they killed the man. Yeah. It was crazy, man. When you seen the angles, man, that shit that looked like uh remember on Scarface when they was uh moving on Sosa. And they were showing motherfuckers around the crib. All the cameras. Yeah. So it was crazy. That was that was a Tesla camera. Yeah. It was, I see. It, was, it was the top of the, the hotel, then the bottom ones when them niggas that shit looked like a Tubi movie, boy. Yeah, so, that's crazy. Hey so. with shit like that, man, you think that um like motherfuckers who you know hitters and shit going on hits, do you think that's over with based on that type of, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, just park cars, just picking up footage. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Then you got all kind of satellite footage. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, who really know who it was? Because you ain't nobody seen no face. They gonna be cooked on. They in there running, somebody in there running their mouth. They say the light-skinned nigga already said something. He got pulled over. You saw the video. They say he got caught with a gun or some weed. And next, you know, the next day they looking for other people. So obviously he ran his mouth. But you know, that street shit game, like it's cool for you know for the internet and real and real life game. That shit over with. That shit over with. If you trying to be a street nigga, you out trying to kill people. Where we live in a world where it's cameras everywhere you go, everybody house, every light, every every step you take, gang, is a camera. That shit over with. You trying to kill niggas and all that, bro. Especially killing people with a phone that's connected with the satellite. So you get caught your phone ping off these things and say that you was in the vicinity and, and put you at the scene. How could you argue with that? They going to cook you off that. Why was your phone there, sir? Why was your phone there and you wasn't there? Does it make sense? It's 2024. People don't go nowhere without their phone. You could walk up right, you could get up right now. You could get up to go use the bathroom right now. And guess what you gonna do? Is your phone is your phone on the table? You gonna hold on. Grab your phone and take that bitch to the bathroom. Motherfuckers yeah. gonna take their phone everywhere they go, Z. Yeah, we That's like cyborgs now. We we attached to these motherfuckers at the hip. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We like human slash robots with these motherfuckers. Yeah, you know what that, shit up, that shit done fucked us up. But it's fucking these kids up even worse because they they grew up with it. We didn't grow up with phones. That shit mm -hmm. came at the end of, you know, down the line of our life. You know, we had house phones. We had grandma on them phones. We don't, you know, we ain't had no phones like that. We had little no kids and flip phones and, and shit like that. And then the church, where you at? We had that. We ain't had all this shit that they got now. Yeah, that's they real. Whole life in their hand now. But that's the shit that's going to get them cooked. That's the shit. The phones, not only getting them cooked that way, but the cloud chasing, being tough, being tough on the internet, being uh, uh, dissing, just doing everything, just seeing. You know, back then you couldn't see where your options. You had to go out there and find where the options at. You couldn't find a location or 
All them niggas just posted they over there. You have to get out on feet and really get your man. Now the social media, which these phones, the phones done fucked the world up, man. The phones is really a cause to a lot of death. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram is a cause to a lot of death. Do you think that it okay? So with a tool, it could help it could be harmful or helpful. Do you feel like it's more harmful or helpful, the technology that we got now? You know what I mean? Um, it's helpful. It's helpful to a, a certain extent, but it's harmful. It's hard. I mean, it's the life that you live, and it's the life that you choose to pick. It could be. It could be helpful for what you do. It's helpful. Shit, I need GPS. I don't know to get to California. I ride. Put my GPS on. It's helpful to the things I need to do. Oh, let me find this. Da 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 da. da. Help me with that. But I'm saying, follow the social media and. You people living that the, the 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 negative life and doing shit like that, it's harmful for them because um, there's a lot of shit, man. It's harmful for harmful for the police had to come on the block and lock back in. You had to get locked up for the police to know that was this yellow, this billionaire, this J Main, this this person. They had they don't have to do that no more. They can go right on their phone and look. Oh shit, he just took a picture. Look, he tagged all the niggas in there. We got your whole circle. So why why you think niggas get killed the way they get killed? Because guess what? You be like, damn, fool wasn't even a nigga that slid. But nigga, you don't realize you just took a picture with these niggas and you posting these niggas on social media and now niggas sliding. Because guess what? If I'm the big dog, I know I could get closer to the little niggas quicker than I could get to the big dog. You know? He might still be in the trenches. He might still be dangling and walking to the stove. We going to pull up and clap his ass. And that's how shit go. So the social media, bro, this the, the, the internet, this Instagram, Facebook, all this shit, it's nothing but face recognition. You didn't have face recognition back then. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you had to get locked up for the police to even know you in the system. You know how many niggas dangled around the world, was killing niggas and doing everything without knowing nobody knowing who they was? Because they would they was vigilant and they never got caught. Nobody knew who they was. Now a nigga can just go right on his bitch and figure out who is who. In that order. Uh you had mentioned the guy Sean Gay Rife. That's the light skinned guy. I think he the first one to get picked up or whatever. Um something else that was crazy about that situation. One, he used his mama car on the hit, and you know they got the license plates readers and shit now. And then they found the old bullet up enough from when Fulio got shot That's not too long. Yeah. How crazy is that? He's a he's he's a kid, man. A goofy kid. That nigga's 18 years old. It's messed up. You know what I'm saying? But that's what these niggas doing, man. Niggas, you got these niggas, cause niggas really don't have nothing. They probably shot 10 niggas with the same gun, with the same plate. You gotta know. Just you shot this nigga with the same gun, these same bullets. Why is this bullet in the car? Obviously, you shot him. He killed that nigga in his mama car, and he shot him in his mama car. Obviously, where they found the bullet in the car or at the house? I think they found it in the car. The same car. So you just got no matter what you he not thinking at all, bro. No matter what, if they would have caught your mama in that car, your mama was gonna have to give you up. Well, my son drive my car. I don't have to. I don't. I don't. I'm not the one driving. I'm not the only one that drive this car. My son, because mama ain't finna go down. Oh, well, yeah, that's my bullet. Oh, mama, you shot him? Hell no. It, you so fucked up, you put your mama in a situation like that. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead, my fuck. You niggas out here, nigga, you the same way, Fulio. Fulio mama come out and say she got hit eight times. You niggas putting your parents and. And harm's way, you niggas not even thinking, bro. This shit fucked up, man. Yeah.